these. These are important. But actually, I just need one. Although, yeah, I just need this one. We'll be good. Today is the day we're going to start our journey to go to Ice Cream Cruise. And Super, God, dude, I am, I am so damn nervous. So the Supra is now 100% fixed if you guys have not been following. So Alex did a freaking phenomenal job. The car is all one color now. All the parts have been replaced. It's just completely restored. So she's back to freaking beautiful. So anyways, put that on there so that way the wind doesn't turn my wheel. So Alex did a phenomenal job. And after the deer incident, I am so terrified of everything going on. Like just in general, anywhere, I'm terrified of people and stuff. So letting my wife drive it is absolutely scary. I am so scared, not because of her driving, but because of other people. So I hope that this drive just goes very, very smooth. So another cool thing guys, Justin North invited me to be, in, he invited me to park in their booth at Ice Cream Cruise. So I will be parked with off the line performance, the 240 and the Supra will be parked in that booth. So that's super awesome. I actually am so stoked. <laughs> this is gonna be such a great weekend. But anyways, we shall start our journey now. Jeep's fixed, trailer's fixed, lights are working, 240 strapped down, and the Supra looks fantastic. Time to start this long journey. Deconstructed or reconstructed. How do they even get that high? They got little cranes here, but there's no way, man. There is no. They actually somehow got that down? Oh, they just put it down. Holy cow, how high do those cranes go? That's crazy. Alright, guys. Freaking long drive. The Supra is doing fantastic. My wife's doing a really good job at staying back too. It's really nice to be able to look into the mirror and see how everything is going. We are literally about a mile away from the track. So we're just gonna head over there right now and we're going to meet up with Off The Line. I don't know what I did to deserve such an invite head to something like Highland this, Avenue. but then it turn is right very nice. Highland Avenue. So a couple years back, this place flooded and it's like an unbelievable amount of flood water. Right there between the trees, you can see there's a little house sign, but there used to be a really nice house sitting right there that obviously got demolished. This whole area was underwater, like up to the first line on the pole. So it it was it was like I would have to say, it was like 11 or 12 foot, uh, probably more, probably like 15 foot, something like that. It was something crazy. It was absolutely unbelievable how much water there was over here. But it's crazy where it just all disappears, like it just all goes away. It's insane. Well, we finally made it. We've been sitting here for a little while. We went and got this canopy, which is absolutely amazing. Probably the best uh, thing money can buy when you're coming somewhere like this. Cars are starting to roll in, although this is the beginning of basically this is just drag race night, so everything's gonna be ran on the drag strip. Uh, everything else will be tomorrow, like for the race, or for the car show itself, for Ice Cream Cruise, the actual main portion of it, and then roll racing and drag racing will be Sunday, which I will be participating in the roll race. Uh, there's some other people here. So we got uh, Garage Idiots over there, and I have not actually heard of them until now. I got a bug. That is K20 swapped. I'm pretty certain it's K20 swapped. It sounds like it's K swapped. It's definitely Honda swapped. But me and my wife are here, and we're just kind of waiting to see how the day's gonna unfold. We're just kind of chilling out for a little bit. God damn, that thing is sick. Damn. So 
I got the 240 and the Supra and this so freaking sick Fox body. We're over at the offline booth at the time, at the moment right now. Everything is gonna get real fire real quick. <laughs> I've been so interested to see this thing come off there. That is a contraption. Dude, I want one of those so bad. And then, oh my god, hers and his. What the f I suppose it makes sense about the colors. TTRS and an RS3, that is so sick. still just uh, in the VIP we're parked at off the line performance and their booth all the cars are not here at the moment but I will be leaving rice box over here but I will be taking the Supra over to the Jeep because we are sleeping in the Jeep this is a very romantic anniversary because I don't know <laughs> if I said anything about that but this is our anniversary and ice cream cruise falls on our anniversary so we are now spending our anniversary together watching drag racing and normally drag racing was always we always did drag racing for me but now we're just kind of enjoying the night watching it hope everybody's enjoying the video or have enjoyed the video there is so many people that just come up like we've just been sitting on this side of the drag strip Right now we're just chilling in the Supra, of course. But we were just kind of sitting right here. You guys could probably see from my wife's clips of uh, people walking up. Everybody be so stoked about the Supra, but it's just like, this isn't even the cool car. In my opinion, the Supra is not the cool car. The 240 is the cool car. So I always had to like push people to that car. And everybody would, it would take so long for people to realize that the turbo is down there. Like they'd just be looking at the car and not even see the freaking massive turbo that's down there. It kind of blows my mind. I mean, it kind of gives me a new perspective on what people notice, I guess. I mean, obviously, this is a Supra, so everybody's going to notice this. But it is really, really funny rolling through the pits and stuff. Really, really funny. It was just cruising through the pits. It was just... There was so... There was cheering because it was a Supra. It didn't even do anything. I just 
coasted through the pits and people were freaking out. It was so funny. I don't understand why. <laughs> to film an outro for last night so here's the outro for last night i hope you guys enjoyed that video and we're starting day two now so okay. stay tuned for the next video it's gonna be freaking epic so